Hello everybody, this is Fire Phoenix, and welcome to a very special edition of Let's Play Blaze of Glory. Um, I'm not commenting as I'm, as this is going, as I'm playing, I'm doing a post, I don't know what the hell you call it, it's a me and my dinner talking over what I just went through. I just recorded this segment, so it's fresh in my head. So we could have a dinner side chat over this game. While I eat random noodles from one of the campuses place I don't even I don't I don't care. You guys don't care, whatever. Okay. I guess this is supposed to be harder to get to if you don't have Yoshi. And that or you need Yoshi because it was stuck in those blocks. I don't know. But these levels aren't that changed. I'm getting disappointed. I managed to get through five levels in this ten minute video. But that's because most of, as I said, the levels aren't really changed. So I know where everything is. For the most part. Um, here I had to leave Yoshi behind. Because I couldn't bring him up anymore. Poor Yoshi. And then I just promptly dropped him off a ledge. I'm such a nice person, aren't I? Um, this was about the only major thing that was changed in this level that and the fact that there's no ground at the bottom, but, I mean, it's not a very big hazard, because you're only going up and up and up. I mean, there's plenty of platforms to stop you on the way down. And there doesn't seem to be a secret exit in this level. I didn't go back and check, but I didn't see one either. But, yeah, for the most part, this is a vanilla secret one remake. Not much to it. This next level harkens back to... Well, you'll see. Donut Plains 4, anybody? The explanation I got from Satoru Scorpion. What was that? I, th I think I said. I think I might have mentioned it in the last video. Any level like this is Glitch Army. And the Glitch Army one always has the Bowser music playing, the Bowser final music. Um, I really, 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 really suggest not using this as a plot device, using these Glitch graphics, because they really, really, I hate, I, ugh. I feel like I need a beer to watch through this. Too bad I can't drink yet. So I've got the next, not really next best thing, but I've got Power Raid. Right there, I realized I didn't want to lose the feather in my inventory. And then I promptly lose it anyways. Uh, there's the problem there. I have to lose Yoshi again. Uh, you forgot to turn on sprite buoyancy, buoyancy. So, thank God I had Yoshi, otherwise I wouldn't have been able to continue. Maybe I would have been able to fly out on it, I don't know. Hmm. This was weird. That's the skull platforms, you put them up there, they fall through on each other. And then right into spinies. No, no, you've got some weird shit going on. And then this, the firework. 
Okay, just because there's stuff in the sprite menu doesn't mean that you should necessarily use it all the time. Case in point, that firework. Massive slowdown. Plus, Mario gets overwritten. Uh, too much sprite activity going on, he disappears. This level, you didn't change anything except you put munchers at the bottom, meaning I can't fall in the water. Well, you changed the end, but that was the very last screen. You put in a little tiny puzzle with the expanding turn block sprite. Again, thank God for the cape. This would have been terrible without it. And see, yeah, you can't stand in the water because you get hit by monsters. <sighs> Just make your own levels off this. Excuse me. That's what I get for eating too fast. I apologize if the sound quality is coming out quiet, but I learned that my laptop has a built-in microphone, so I've started using that as a... to record. It means I don't have to bust out my headset hook it all up, get the configuration right, etc, etc. It's convenient. Only problem is, it makes my keyboard tapping much more loud. I'm sorry, guys. I just didn't feel like getting out all the keyboard, all the headset stuff. Oh yes, bonus game time. Footballs. Um, um, quick thing to mention, I don't know exactly what the repercussions of having the bullet bill generator in the bonus area is. I don't know. Um, if you die in the bonus game, I don't know what happens. Okay, here's my problem with this. It's the same level. It's the exact same level. You just took out the water. Or you turned it into a non-swimming level. I mean, there's no point. The point of the castle was that it was a swimming level, and you got rid of it. It just turns into a generic castle now. Sure, I guess you could say oh, I changed a little bit, which you did in the next section. You put in some cement blocks that make you go... Uh, to the left, but that's not, that's no change, that's just a little bit of stuff. Five levels in nine minutes. The big problem is that you seem to have gotten lazy with your design. I don't know how much more it's going to change, but apparently I've got like very little time. Or, well, the video ended. Um, Whatever, I'll just overlay the something. Um, basically, you really, 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 really should look into um, making totally new levels from scratch. You should press Control and Delete when you start building a level so you have no fragments of the existing level left in yours. And that's really the best way to do it. That's all I can say. Um... So yeah, this has been Fire Phoenix for this little dinner side chat slash critique of my own playing, whatever. I'll see you guys probably for a more normal one next time. Good night.